What's up, everybody, and welcome to the other side of the firewall, where we highlight those movers and shakers and glass ceiling breakers. As people of color have made it to the other side of the uh, proverbial firewall, as well as talk about cybersecurity and the latest news about vulnerabilities and all things cybersecurity. So uh, I'm Ryan Williams, and today, as always, I'm joined by Shannon Tynes. What up, what up? And the Von Maynard. That's what, what's up, guys. How you doing? All right. This is my favorite part of the week. This is when we do the, the weekly rundown. So we basically talk about what we've been doing all week. So with that being said, what do you guys been doing all week? Yeah. yeah, I've been doing a little bit of everything. I've just been uh, uh, taking care of the family. We have the in-laws in town. So we just uh, hung out a little bit. I've been watching some shows and watching a little bit of Invincible. We're watching the latest uh, Falcon and the, and the Winter Soldier. Uh, watch some uh, My Hero Academia. Uh, playing okay. some video games, playing some Yakuza, playing some uh, some Destiny, getting uh getting a little bit into that. But um, yeah, I've been I've been enjoying myself. I think uh, I mentioned in the last podcast, the last week, uh, the last session, should I say that? Uh, you know, I went out to a restaurant for the first time in a, in a long time, which was pretty cool, and uh, got to get some get some good vittles. Um, actually, went to two different restaurants. Um, uh, you know, celebrating some, some special occasions with the family here. But uh, yeah, it's been pretty chill. I've been, uh, uh, you know, staying busy on the computers and, and with work, working, like, I feel like I'm working 24 seven, always doing something, always got something. I feel like I always got like, uh, not only am I just doing the day to day job, but I always feel like I got to learn something new, which is, I think is important, but uh, always like digging into some, some, uh, uh, some like, like how to guides and, and, um, just like different different tech articles and, and learning different technologies, especially with, with when it involves the cloud. But um, how about you guys? What you guys been up to the last week? So I'll, I will start with this. I did not study this past week. Oh, I, oh boy. I, I was on a good I, I didn't either. I, I can't judge you. <laughs> <laughs> I was on a good train. I was just like, ah, and I just, I, I didn't do it this week. But I did watch, I, I got caught up on Invincible, um, which I'm liking. Um, I did watch uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier, which I'm kind of, I mean, this last episode, I was, it was kind of losing me until the end. And then I was like, okay, I kind of figured that was going to happen. But yeah, um, I don't know. I'm probably coming closer to your side, LeVon, where I'm like, hey, I need a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more action. Yeah, give me, give me a little bit more. I thought it was, I actually enjoyed the last episode. I know, I know uh, Ryan's been waiting for the, yeah, yeah, yeah Ryan can't come on I'm waiting for all of them to be done. All of them. I'm well, I actually binge watch yeah. the mess out of it. <laughs> right, right. You need a need a binge watch it. Yeah, but I enjoyed. I actually enjoyed the last episode. I thought it was pretty good. And like you said, how it ended was the the, the biggest thing to me. Um, and I actually kind of you know foresaw that coming because obviously uh, this current current guy is like maybe not up to snuff. Uh, but um, I think it's, I think it's, I think they're doing pretty good. I mean, I, I thought it had a decent amount, especially. Uh, when Wakanda came up in there, <laughs> I'll say that much. I think I can say that Wakanda was up in there. Mm-hmm. That was pretty, uh, that was pretty legit. And they, they had like a little scene there. Um, but that's what I want more of. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you want some more that, of that. That's, that's, that's what I want more of. Like, even, even with that, remember, that was towards the end, right? Because that sparked some stuff that sparked actions for things to happen. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> right. But right. yeah, I, I just, I don't know. I like, I wanted, I wanted to see a little bit more of that. And I don't know. Yeah. Like ah, uh, come on, man! Like you got to you got to give them time to tell a story too. They can't be all, all action twenty four seven. Four episodes, right? This is episode four or five. Yeah, was this is episode four, four, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it's, it's halfway done, right? Hey, probably. It's, it's probably Maybe. like eight or ten, right? Eight or mm-hmm. ten episodes. Probably. I don't, yeah. I don't know. So That's, yeah, I I know I know who Sam is, right? Let's all right. Let's, we passed that already. I know, right, I, right. I know who Bucky is. <laughs> We passed up already, right? Like, come on, come on. Like, hey, I know who these guys are. I've seen them in Avengers movies and Civil Wars and all this, yeah. right? Like Captain America. So, hey, I don't, don't give me, give me more. You know what I mean? Like, hey, yeah. Disney, look, I'm, I'm about to pay a lot of money to go to Disney later on this year. So, if my money, if I'm paying all that money. You need to put it into these studios. You know what I'm saying? To, to get this, get this happening. Right, right. Uh, I don't yeah, know. yeah, hold on. I'm not, I'm not jumping in until Loki's done. Okay, I think that's it, right? That's the, the last one they've announced is Loki. 
June or July, right? It's Loki. Yeah, so when, when Loki finishes up, I'm watching all of them. WandaVision, uh, Falcon, Winter Soldier, and Loki all at the same time. So I'm going to binge it. Probably, so know probably how- like it two weeks. All of them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still not gonna I'm still not gonna watch WandaVision. Like I I it just I'm looking I keep telling myself I probably need to. And so the other day probably, probably if you binge it, it'd be better for you than if you had watched it weekly. Because it because then you will be able to just, you know what I mean? You just knock it all out. You'd be like, okay, it was a good cumulative story. Like cumulatively, it was all good. Like maybe, maybe at a weekly pace it wouldn't make it good for you. I don't think so. I think it's just I, don't know. I think mm-hmm. it's just I haven't seen it. it. Again, <laughs> again, so I've said I've said this long ago right like when i read critic reviews and they're and they telling me that they did something different i'm like nah that ain't what i need to hear i need to, <laughs> i need to hear good dot 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 <laughs> right right great dot 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 give me the ellipsis after that right no i just i i i, I like i was <laughs> saying i brought it up the other day and i was looking at the thumbnails and i was reading the descriptions and i was just like mm, yeah i don't know i don't know if i'm put the time in but here's the thing I still haven't watched the second season of The Mandalorian either, right? So I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'll, I'll, I will watch The Mandalorian. I just, that one's all done. I'll, I'll finish watching that one. But WandaVision, I'm just like, mm. I'm like, that's not, not, I probably just don't need, you know what I mean? Four and a half hours. So I'll, I'll, I'll probably never watch the, the Mandalorian. I'm not a, I'm not a, a Star Wars guy. I've watched one episode and I keep hearing it was the wrong episode to watch. I watched episode two. It's the only Star Wars. Because I was deployed to Iraq, and they 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 gave it to us a week before the rest of the world, so I felt obligated to go. And I was like, eh, it was okay. And everybody around me was like, that was horrible. <laughs> they were preaching if they got it. They pre- like the the whole atmosphere was cool, but they were like these episodes, like watch the original trilogy. I'm like, I'm not gonna do that because I missed as a child. So I'm out. Yeah, I'm I'm not a big I'm not a big Star Wars fan, but I watch it for the action and like. I'll tell you this: The Mandalorian, the first season, I did like it, and I'm I am probably missing things because I've seen all of the Star Wars movies, but it's not like I can't sit here and tell you, oh, that was Episode Four, that was Episode Five, that was Episode Six. Oh, that happened because of this, that, and the third, right? Like, I thought Baby Yoda was Yoda, right? But apparently, that's not the case. I guess I don't know, right? <laughs> right? So like, I, I don't know. Right? My, yeah. my my youngest loves him. My, he's got two Baby Yodas, so the big one and the small one. Yeah. He, he carries around the house all day. He know he doesn't knows nothing about Star Wars, but he loves Baby Yoda. And even watch the Mandalorian. <laughs> right. Yeah. That was, but he that loves was Baby Yoda. Grogu. That's his boy. That's his name. Yeah. Grogu. Oh, okay. the, new, the new Yoda. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, yeah. It's like you said. It's uh, I guess it's already spoiled, but it's, it's not like uh, it's not Yoda. Uh, Yoda. It's uh, it's supposed to be like like one of his one of his kind, but uh, he's like a different person, like different thing. And uh, yeah, yeah he's, like, he's like fifty, right? Like he's older too. Like he's yeah, he's he's still old, even though he's like a little baby. I guess he's he's pretty old. Uh, well, Yoda was like eight hundred when he died, or something, right? Something like that, right? Or something ridiculous. Like I know, think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they grow they grow slow. I guess. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I guess I, I, yeah. I get it. I get it. But no, Invincible yeah. though. Invincible though. I like we've uh, offline. We've gone through our theories and whatnot. And I, I just think, oh yeah. On. I think I'm right. Yeah. We're not. We're not gonna go into it. No spoilers, right? But I'm right, right, you, right. I think I, got I, I think it. you're right too. I, I just, I feel like it's almost like, yeah, what you said is like it's so simple. Like, I mean, that's something I kind of thought initially, but I was like, I'm thinking it, it's kind of like maybe almost like expected, right? To me, as far as like what's gonna happen, I was hoping that maybe they kind of throw a little, uh, you know, curveball, like, oh, you never see this coming, kind of thing. Um, but I think I mean I think you're right though. I think that's probably what's gonna happen. I mean, it makes makes perfect sense what you said um given like given the current scenario and what the corporation has been doing and looking at the blood and all this kind of stuff yeah yeah hey uh, man look we're gonna we're gonna yeah. wait we're gonna wait for we're gonna wait for it to get done give it a couple of weeks and we're gonna yeah. go, we're gonna, we gonna go through we're right go right on. right yeah. <laughs> yeah but i yeah I, I definitely like it i think i think it will have a twist like i, I think I, I don't think my prediction is that far-fetched but i think that'll somehow that'll hinge on the the twist because it's pretty dark. So I'm like, how could it get darker? <laughs> right, right. Speaking of dark, I watched, because uh, today I was supposed to wake up and go run, but apparently uh, it's 40 days of raining or something. Uh, so I could not get outside. Uh, I watched uh, uh, the Justice League Apocalypse War or whatever the title is. Is it Apocalypse War or just Apocalypse? Just, Justice League Dark. 
Apocalypse. Dark. Apocalypse. Yeah, because now I've gone back and I've, I'm I'm doing them in chronological order. So I think I'm on Justice League War now. I think because I saw so I watched I watched Apocalypse. I liked it. It's really good. But there was so much in it that I was like, yeah, I should probably watch the ones before it. So mm-hmm. I finished it and I immediately went to Flashpoint, which actually works out if you watch it in that direction because of the whole premise of the paradox. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah. yeah, I didn't really. It kind of this does it will feed into it, right? Because it's time based. So I, I watched uh, uh, Paradox this morning, liked it, and I moved on to. I want to say, I think I'm on Justice League War now. I think that's the next one. Like I got, I got a list of all the ones I got to watch it, in a certain order. Is it War or Dark? So it's Justice League Dark because it has Constantine in it, and then it's Justice yes. League Dark Apocalypse War. Right. There's there's two. There's a, there's a Just League yeah. War by itself, and then Just League it war? Dark okay. War gotta, uh, Apocalyptic Apocalypse War. Yeah. Hold on. My list is coming up. I said to search it. So I did DC animated film timeline. So I watched this morning. I, yeah. So uh, it tells me to do Justice League, the Flashpoint Paradox. Then it says go to Justice League War. Then it says go to Batman, Son of Batman, and then Justice League Throne of Atlantis. And then Nightwing and Robin. And then Nightwing versus Robin. What? Like it gives me like a I don't know. It could be wrong. I'll, I'll send it to you. Make sure I'm not doing it wrong. But what? I plan on going through all of them because I actually like them. They're pretty funny and uh brutal. <laughs> but, yeah. All right. Yeah, not afraid to uh take liberty. Like there was one scene. Oh, I'm not I'm not gonna say what movie it's from, but uh like uh I think it's Cheetah. Is it Cheetah? Uh she yeah. runs into the room and just gets gunned down. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> and, and no one cares <laughs> right like oh sorry about that i was like oh is it okay <laughs> yeah that, that dc animation where they were like all right don't hold anything back marvel right marvel, like we don't care marvel is up on us we gotta bring in the we gotta bring in the people now yeah so i like the cartoons like the movie's still whack um so if it's not batman i'm not i'm not with it but the cartoons are actually really good i actually am, am enjoying those so I get give two thumbs up for for the recommendation, right? Uh, but I, I consumed a lot of stuff. So I watched like three Justice League uh, cartoons this morning. I watched Invincible. I watched part one of a documentary on HBO called uh, "Exterminate the uh, Exterminate the Brutes." It's a four part documentary. It goes through uh, yeah, it's really uh, really deep so far. It's gone through uh, just imperialism, colonialism, uh, just the difference between the two, where it started, how it, how it impacts us to, to the day. They're about an hour apiece. I only watched the first one now. So I saw, I saw that today and I added it to my list and it was talking about, uh, was it Europeans and how they went out and colonized? Is that what it was? Yeah, they, they, I mean, they, they, they really, they start out brutal. Like as soon as they start to really get in, like maybe five minutes in, they show, um, uh, Seminole, I want to say, a Seminole woman standing up to a, um, uh, he looks like a, uh, a, a military uh, official or something like that, trying to, trying to, to recover slaves and property, which she's like, this is our property and these people are free. And then he's bow, takes her out. Mm. And then he's like, this is, and then he's just going to more history about what's going on. Just like, mm. all right. It's very unromanticized. It's kind of like um, a People's History United States. Uh, it's like a book like that thick, where they give you yeah. the here is Columbus's uh, diary when he hit the beach of, uh, of the Bahamas. This is what he said in his diary. This is the actions that he took. Like right. it's complete unromant- unromanticized depiction. Of, like this is what we got from historical uh, documentation as well as uh, interviews that were recorded. Mm-hmm. Like you're just yeah. like, hmm, that's not what they taught me in school. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's the exact opposite of what they taught me in school. Yeah, I think so I, I like it so far. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think that stuff is really interesting because you like you really get to see the the true like you know uh, story behind everything. It's not so much like you said romanticized, like make it seem all like uh, you know oh this is like an explorer just went across the waters and he was like looking for another land and he was just like he right. got it there and he was like so friendly to all the people and like he just shared shared his knowledge and they shared their knowledge with him and all this kind of stuff you know. It's like if you hear the full story, like okay, you know, he was trying to yeah, maybe they, he's trying to conquer some places and he didn't like some people. Right. He, did, he thought they looked funny, he thought they, you know, whatever. 
Right, exactly. And it, it doesn't, it's not necessarily tied into, it does, it's not chronological. It's, it just shows the repercussions and the, uh, the thought process of like manifest destiny and all that good stuff or not good stuff, mm-hmm. but the, the, the yeah. how the, the phrase goes. Um, so they, they, they've already in part one, they, they hit, um, just the, the psychology of extermination when they, they dig into a little bit of, uh, of, uh, the Holocaust. And then it, so it was crazy. Uh, and I, I was watching it and then they, they were doing a flyover. They were talking about something totally different and they're doing a flyover and they showed these buildings. And I was like, oh, that looks like Dachau. Cause I, I went to, it was a, uh, a labor camp. Uh, so I was, I was stationed in Stuttgart. I drove over to Dachau and it blew my mind. Uh, I never got a chance to go to Auschwitz. It was too far away. Uh, I didn't have the, uh, the, the ability to go that far, but I went to Dachau and they show, I saw the buildings. And then when they show the aerial view, I'm like, oh, that looks like Dachau. And then they start talking about Dachau. And I'm like, oh, okay. I was mm-hmm. there. I saw, I, I, you know, saw the, uh, the, uh, what's left of Dachau. So I was like, okay. And they just go into the psychology of that and just how it ties into uh, language and rhetoric that we're starting to see manifest itself in certain areas of the world. And it's not all uh, U.S. bashing. Like they actually do touch on other, other countries pretty heavily. Like they, they talk about the Congo and the Netherlands and they're, they get, they get pretty, pretty detailed. So I like it so far. Yeah. I think that's really interesting because it's like, uh, I don't know, as you were talking about that, I just, I was kind of thinking to myself, like, imagine, you know, uh, cause like you're saying things get romanticized, but imagine like, I don't know if, I don't know, the, uh, uh, the Nazis had won their, won the war and how they would change the story around and being like, you know, all these, uh, I don't know, these, uh, uh, the allied nations were trying to like, you know, uh, take over right, our country exactly. and all this kind of stuff or turn into like a, you know, or if even if like, you know, say like people had settled in America and the Native Americans were like um, the ones that kind of drove out the colonizers that, you know, kicked them out of the country and they would tell the story like all these, you know, these uh, people were trying to take over our land and all this kind of stuff. But, it, you know, you kind of change the story around, you probably get like, I don't know, a whole different perspective. It all depends on like yeah. what side you're on. You, you see like a whole, you know, whole different like story, uh, you know, progress. Uh, but I, I just think that's interesting. I think that that, you know, that's like a very um, a good thing that people should be aware of. Like just to know like the true history, to know like all the ins and outs of the history. Don't don't get uh, sucked into just the, you know, just the broad scope of things. Like, and yeah, the the kindergarten lesson. That kindergarten, we were, we were yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, when you get older, maybe you can. <laughs> as, a, as a young kid, maybe you're not going to learn about that kind of stuff, but. Uh, as you get older, kind of be a little bit more expand the knowledge on how things really, you know, went down. But it's right. uh, everybody's kind of so we don't like. Uh, what, how's the saying go? Uh, learn about the past so you don't uh, repeat it in the future or something like that. Yeah. So, yep, so, exactly. So do you guys, you guys, you guys ever see the episode of Family Guy where they went to Germany and they're taking that tour, and the German no. tour guide is get, German tour guide is giving them a tour. And like he left out the space from World War II. <laughs> oh, okay. And he was like, he he was like wait a minute. It. Yeah, he was like, wait a minute. Hitler invaded Poland in 1939. He was like, we were invited. They're on a we tour bus. One, one of those dual, the, the, the double deck <laughs> buses. And uh, Brian and Stewie are, are who it is. And like he left yeah, out yeah. from 1941 to 1945. That's pretty funny. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. It's, it's kind of, <laughs> That's crazy. Like when you were talking about how you know it's kind of like the victors, the, the victors write the uh, write the history, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, almost almost always, except for uh, like we when you went to test school, like you went to test school in uh, Mississippi, right? So when I cross trained, yes, yes. Yeah, so you you you've been to Keesler. So uh, going from going up north and hearing about the uh, the the war, the Civil War, and then going down south it was the first time I ever heard somebody call it the War of Northern Aggression. <laughs> oh wow. And I was like, I heard what war was that? Like I was really like I like in my head, I was like, I it didn't hit the roller decks. I was like, I'm missing the whole war. Please explain. Yeah. And then he starts explaining. I was like, what did you call it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, they were joking, like, right? Like usually people say that. No, no, no. He was he was serious? he was devout. He was really? devout. His 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 uh his his great grandfather fought on the uh Confederate side. Uh, wow. Yeah. Like so when I hear his, his family that. had a whole different take. <laughs> right. <laughs> like <that. laughs> I'm not, I kid you not. I kid you not. Yeah. I, I believe you. I believe you. But like every I time like, I hear that, it's as a joke, right? You know what I mean? The no. More than aggression, you know. No, that's what he was taught in school. That's what his family taught, reinforced. 
Wow. So we, okay. we had many a debate about certain flags and, and things of that nature. Yeah. And uh, in, indentured servitude versus slavery. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> right. I yeah. don't think you know what those words mean. But I digress. <laughs> so aside from watching all this stuff today, uh, I also played Pac-Man 99. Uh, oh. So How's that I, I really enjoyed it. I've, yeah. I've always played Pac-Man tangentially. I played a little bit. You know what I mean? It's fun. It's, you know, old, old, old timey type game. But competitive Pac-Man, that, that is where it's at. Like, I don't think I've placed higher than like in the forties out of the, the 99, but it's actually a lot of fun. Cause as you, as you get pellets and you eat ghosts, you send the enemies to other people's screens. Mm-hmm. So like your screen will be full of just things. You're just trying to circle. Like I got to get to the pellet. Yeah. <laughs> got to get yeah. there. So it's, it's that's, fun. That's pretty legit. And so you're playing with like, and you put up Roblox too. Like as, as you're doing it, uh, I, I forget how you do it, but as you eat so many ghosts or whatever, you start to set up Roblox. So as they're trying to run away from ghosts, they'll, they'll get, trapped you know move slower oh. so the ghost can catch up dang yeah dang, it's a lot, a lot of pressure vicious. a lot of pressure yeah that's vicious <laughs> right there dang so wait a minute ryan last week you said you was the man at pac-man you telling me you can't get out of the 40s though man like so you telling me it's a no I've, I've never been Pac-Man a man at pac-man league. i was good at, i was good at tetris, tetris. I was, I was, okay 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 yeah, yeah. i made that's i made it up to like three okay. i almost made it to one but this dude I, he was he was crazy he had almost nothing on his screen and my screen was like halfway full and he just mm. commenced to beating that ass. That's what he was doing. <laughs> Dang. So I've never placed higher than three. But this one, I got, I think I got like 43, I want to say. So I was, I was no, still saying, no slouch. Is, is still it really, no slouch. Is, uh, but, but still, like, I didn't realize Pac-Man was that competitive, right? Like, I don't think I, I don't think I played Pac-Man since I've been in a Pizza Hut years ago. You know what I mean? Right. It's <laughs> the same, that, that same Pac-Man stuff is, is 98 other people playing at the same time. Mm, okay. Just depending on how good they playing. Man, your game gets harder. Mm. Okay. Is it like uh, what you call it? I'm, I'm just kind of curious how they, you know, how it's like competitive in the sense that like is is, is the levels are the levels pretty much the same as you re- remember from like the old Pac Man? Do they switch up like the routes a little bit, or this? Is, so, I'm just trying to think like so how do you get like yeah. faster than somebody else? Because you all the Pac Man's kind of move the same speed, and if everybody's just kind of they moving do. in the same kind of direction, yeah. getting the same kind of gems or getting a uh, same uh, same pellets then nobody's gonna have the same kind of result but yeah so i don't think i stayed in long enough for the for the the the, um level to change so in in tetris it just gets faster right Mm -hmm. um and then people are throwing stuff on your screen as they as they clear their screen and you could target you could say i want as i clear my screen and it's very similar in pac-man 99 too it's like as i do whatever i do like uh, in pac-man eat ghosts i can either target somebody or i can or i can either i can target someone who's targeting me I can target mm-hmm. someone who is close to uh, having a certain level. I can target somebody who has so many badges because you get badges as you clear different parts of the level, both in Tetris and this one. Uh, mm-hmm. Or there's another one. I think it's like random or something. You target random people. And then, so you're all doing this while trying to get around the board to get those pellets to eat those ghosts. And uh, I think it's fruit maybe that sets up bumpers. And then as these people pass through the bumpers, it slows them down. So it's like you're adding an obstacle on top of the ghosts are still chasing them because you only the pellets only work for so long right. before they, they wear off, right? And then the ghosts get aggressive again. They stop running from mm-hmm. you. Right. So, but it's, it's fun. It's, I mean, yeah. if you have, if you have uh, Nintendo Online, it's free. So yeah, I was gonna say, the competitive yeah, part, good. like if you want to play it solo, like if you want to play any offline modes and you have to pay, but I, but I think it's like 10 bucks. Mm-hmm. Wait, say, it's say a lot of money. If you want to, if you want to play solo, you got to pay. But if you want to play online, it's yeah. Free. So same thing with Tetris. So if you want to just play it, it's free against nine nine people. But if you want to break off into modes where you play uh, against a computer, or you play a certain theme, uh, like clearing hundred lines, clear a thousand lines, whatever, then you pay for that portion. So the the competitive parts, your your gateway drug in, and then if you don't feel like competing against people, because sometimes you just want to play Tetris, <laughs> mm-hmm. so then you have to pay for that part. You have to unlock the rest of the modes. That's ten bucks. Okay. So yeah. I make the money. It can't just give you free stuff. They're like, we're gonna get you in here though. I'm like, oh, you remember mm. Pac Man? Like, yeah, I do remember Pac Man. <laughs> but I'm tired of these people beating me up. I'm like, okay, you play by yourself. Mm-hmm. Ten dollars. <laughs> Let that nostalgia <laughs> make you pay ten dollars. You know. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Good business marketing. Mm. Can't complain on that. Right. Yeah. I said it get you. Ten dollars is a lot but of yeah, money. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. It's, it's, it's fun. 
Yeah. That's good, so man. After, I, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, after, after that, I, I don't know what I'm playing, but we, well, how about you? Yeah, like I was, I was mentioning, I was playing, I'm playing, playing Yakuza, which has been pretty fun. Um, it's a fun game. It's like an RPG, basically, I, I compare it to. Like, a lot of, it's very story heavy, very like, you know, a lot of side quests, a lot of like, uh, um, uh, you know, you can build up a character, unlock like different, you know, fight abilities and all this kind of stuff. Right. That's been pretty, that's been pretty fun. Um, I still need to dust off the PS5. Still sitting there a little bit. I gotta, gotta dust off that bad boy. Dust and it's it been off. collecting. <laughs> Where's the off button for this? I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I signed out of this. <laughs> Wait, what is it? April? Is that April when Jack and Daxter comes out? Oh, that's good. Yeah, I think it's April. So yeah, so you have something to play pretty soon. Yeah. April or May. Yeah. Get some. Uh, if you choose get, to, Levon. If I choose to, right. <laughs> I've got some of the games I can get through too. I got like a backlog and then uh, I've been playing a lot of uh, Xbox Game Pass. They have like a ton of games on there. A lot of great games uh, to go through. And then I still have... Uh, the uh, uh, what's it called? The uh, Bahala, the uh, Assassin's, oh, Creed, Assassin's Creed, Creed Bahala. Yeah. I got that for the PS5. I got to get through that one too. But yeah, that's been like my main thing. I mean, I uh, I like I like playing online games. I like playing against some, some other people. I like like PvP type games. Uh, so it's uh, I, I've been sticking around with Destiny too. I've been playing a lot, a lot of that PvP get online and just shooting at people just, it's something i can just do like not even think about it i don't have to like read any uh read, read or listen to any kind of story or anything i'm just going out there running around shooting people and then uh you know shut it off for the night but it's pretty fun it's a good game um and then they have this new game called uh outriders i think it's called oh um, yeah yeah i've been hearing a lot about that by, by the time yeah. i get to it it'll be old it'll be old <laughs> i played a little bit of that it's actually pretty fun i just i just Late one night, I just turned it off a little bit. I just wanted to see like the intro part of it and just see, just get an idea for horse how it controls and everything. Because uh, they do that on the Game Pass also, so it's on there. But uh, I was playing that for a little bit, and it's actually pretty fun. It's uh, it's something different because I've been playing so much Destiny, but it's kind of like Destiny style. Like you're, uh, it's kind of like the same kind of mechanics where you have a character and you get some super abilities and you get you collect guns, you upgrade your guns and your gear. Um, but uh, it, it's pretty fun. I like it. I like it so far. I'm gonna get some more time into it and see how see how it gets as uh, some of the end game content, as they call it, uh, comes comes available. Gotcha. But yeah, it's pretty good. That's what's up. Yeah, it's pretty pretty eventful week for all of us. Yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna actually try to do some studying tomorrow though. Try. Right. You do some gotta knock tomorrow. that. Yeah, you gotta knock that stuff out. Got to. You too, Shannon. Right, right. You too, man. You, you slash. I gotta get a move on. <laughs> I had a couple weeks. I was good, and I was like, oh, I'm sick of seeing this. <laughs> yeah. AES two fifty six. I don't care. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I don't, no I more. Think, but yeah. No. See, I think I, I think I just need to. I need to. I think like I'm spending more time on the stuff that I'm that I need work in, and I think it's just because it's not as good. I still need to spend more time like. The things that I do know, just go over it a little bit and just make sure. But I'm yeah. I'm hammering myself with the stuff I know I need help on, and I'm just like, it, it makes you just not. You're no longer enthused about it, right? <laughs> you're like, mm-hmm. ah. all right. <laughs> so yeah, I just need to change it up. Once once I get to that point, I'm like, all right, well, let me just go back to something easy. You know what I mean? And right. hard, you know, yeah, yeah. So no, that definitely makes sense. Yeah, uh, it's just you, you'll you'll get through it. It's just uh, ebbs and flows. Yep. But with that being said, it's a really good episode, everybody. So I appreciate you. Thank you for listening to the listeners out there. Uh, please hit us up on, uh, listen to us on Anchor, uh, or I was to say we record on Anchor, but oh yeah, so Anchor is actually a platform you can listen to it on too if you're subscribed to that. But we're on uh, Spotify, we're on uh, Apple, Breaker, uh, I think Shoutcast, we're everywhere, like six different platforms. But if you want to watch us, watch us on YouTube uh, or on LinkedIn. Uh, and then go to the website, www.theothersideofthefirewall.com, where you can reach our Twitter, which is at on underscore firewall, our Facebook, which is the other side of the firewall. Uh, and then our Instagram is the other side of the FW. You can reach me at RyRy Security Guy. That's R-Y-R-Y Security Guy on Twitter, LinkedIn, Clubhouse, and TikTok. Please feel free to ask me questions. I started a new segment called Ask a Sys P, uh, which I've been uh, answering questions. So I think we're on episode two. 
I don't really call them episodes. I just ask us this piece slash whatever the theme is. Um, please feel free to keep asking questions. And LaVon? You can hit me up at LaVon Maynard on the Twitters. There it is. So please hit us up. Let us know what you like, what you don't like. Like, share, subscribe. If there's a bell involved somewhere, hit that too. Hit all the things. Appreciate y'all. Have a good one. Take care.